All right, so here we have uh, the saloon, galley port side. It's very typical uh, Admiral layout. It works extremely well. We've got excellent flows uh, through the companionways, port and starboard companionways. But uh, beautiful leather upholstery. And you can see how much light comes through here. We're in uh, Cape Town in winter, so this is a bit gloomy for us, but uh, there's very good light inside the boat. On the port side, we've still got the window covers on, so you can see the difference there. The lighting uh, throughout the boat is uh, LED. There are three aircon systems on board, two 6000 BTUs for the uh, aft cabins and a 12,000 unit for the saloon that feeds into the fore section of the vessel as well. As can be seen here, we've got a beautifully put together uh, switch panel, 12 volt at the top, 220 at the bottom. Then you've got your VHF sound system, blue sky energy. This uh, vessel is equipped with a, a generator and a water maker, which we'll get to shortly. The water maker is 110 uh, liters per hour. We're going to drop down into the port hull, which is your guest's hull, in this case being an owner's version. This is a, a walk past head on our port side. The washing machine is in there. Conditions for the floors and the steps which take you away are in really really good condition. Doors just beautifully done. That is the generator controls there, and that is the 110 litre hour 220 volt um, water maker. What I failed to mention is that the boat can be run on either 110 volt or 220 volt. There's a changeover system. This is the four cabin that's just used as storage in this particular case. You've got lovely ventilation through the port light there and hatches up there. Equipment lying on the bed here at the moment. Those are spare membranes uh, for the water maker. It takes two of those. There's your MPPT uh, solo charger controller. There's our spare, it's brand new spares for the uh, windlass. Flares, they're the new decals that we were talking about. And that is a brand new hob the owner felt that it was needing an upgrade and uh, considering they were going cruising for a long period of time it did make a lot of sense. We've also got fans. This is the control valve for the aircon out of the saloon. Gonna move into the guest head. It's a lovely enclosed shower. Perspex door so it keeps the head nice and dry. Moving aft, beautiful cabinetry work done on her, it's really appealing to my eye. It's the air con control unit, lovely double bed, 
good ventilation, port light, port light aft, also a hatch. So yes, I'm not going to be opening all the lockers as uh, the current owners are, have been living aboard for the last number of years. In actual fact, they've lived aboard since uh, they bought the vessel. Crossing over to the starboard hull. Nice angle on the steps, not too steep. Notice no chipping. Vessel's in beautiful condition. <clears throat> Again, this is the owner's cabin. Plenty of storage throughout these vessels. Again, ventilation, ventilation, and hatch. Floors once again, stunning condition. More and more storage. Little workstation if so required, or vanity area if you'd like to call it that. You've got a little sits bath in there and the perspex type uh, door a lot of ventilation um, <clears throat> good bit of lighting here electric head as on the other side Tastefully padded ceiling. All in all, she's just a, a really class act. The isotherm uh, fridge and freezer. Little rubbish bin there. Microwave. Stainless steel double sink. Smev oven and Smev uh, top. Um, this particular top is going to be changed for the the other one. Bose uh, marine speakers and uh, yes, that is conclusion.